Hi everyone and Merry Christmas. I'm JME from It's Like Science. That's short for Justin Marshall Elias and long for Ills. I'd like to do a top 10 that I feel worthy of. Top 10 songs with sweet beats. Of course, my opinions are my own. There's an ocean of music out there with lots of new music to be discovered and oldies to be rediscovered, but um, I don't know. If, if you don't find that I have any merit, at least know that you'll, you'll hear some sweet new beats. Oh, and P.S. Sorry if I butchered the titles. At number 10, I have listed Frog Pocket. Karak kills. <laughs> Ordering these songs, it's, uh, it's tough for me. I thought maybe this should be number one, just simply because it's such an amazing, unique song. But everything Frog Pocket does is amazing and unique. Um, and this beat won't exactly bring the house down. It takes a lot of patience, um, a, a keen ear, um, someone, I guess, who's used to electronica. So I have it here at number 10. At number 9, I have Her Bar, as in not his, hers, by Clark. Um, if there's one thing Clark isn't afraid of, it's just a harsh, crisp beat right in front of your face. Intense, yet delicate in its complexity? Anyways, this song always turns some heads. At number 8, I have Dedicated Loop by Square Pusher. At almost exactly 30 seconds, this song takes it off with some intense, unrelenting beat that's like, yeah, I'm awesome. I'm Square Pusher. I know what I'm doing. If I want my sci-fi rave to play anything, I hope it's this. It's not very Christmassy, though. At number seven, I have Endless Summer by Mothboy. What? You've never heard of Moth Boy? Oh, um, that makes sense. They're, uh, they're pretty underground. Yeah. Play this song for your friends driving down the freeway, just going for a joyride. I guarantee they will start bobbing their heads. Or your beats back. At number six, we have Pass That Dutch by Missy Elliott. Yeah, I like Missy. So what? Guilty pleasure? No, I don't feel guilty about it. I mean, the media has, like, kind of, you know driven it into our heads excessively, or they did, um, but it doesn't make it any less awesome, you know, it make, it's still sweet beat, and it's just really cool when Missy Elliott drops the, run for cover mother, except doesn't, she doesn't sound anything like that, I'm sorry. At number five, we have Escape by Amon Tabin. You know, I'm a huge fan, but I, I still don't know if I'm saying his name right, which is sad. He's still in high ass-kicking gear, even today, but uh, this is an oldie. I reached back for my favorite beat of his. Uh, once the song starts, it's, it's hard to stop listening. That's why it's at number five. I, I could probably just listen to the percussion in the song and just be satisfied with that, but I won't because the synth is sick. At number four, we have my first single by Eminem. Yeah, I'm a fan. Um, I haven't been a fan for long, but uh, this song caught my ear. Um, I couldn't stop doing this. The burping and pooping, uh, although I am a child, it's a little unfortunate in my opinion, maybe needless, but it's Eminem, so, you know, deal with it, whatever. At number three, we have a very special song called She Moves. She by Fortet. It's Fortet. He's got sweet beats coming out. Ask any Fortet fan and they'll say he's a master of sweet beats. They probably won't say sweet beats. I think maybe I just say that. But she moves, she moves, and just keeps moving. At number two we have Sleepwalker by Wagga Wagga. Wagga Wagga is an artist featured on Acroplane. You may have noticed I mentioned them before. It's cause it's awesome. I personally tested the song on the masses. I've uh, played it on sets and a few parties in the car, and people always start moving. They want to know what's playing. They want to know what is up when the song starts playing. And it's a song. Just being awesome and catchy and sweet. It's a sweet beat. At number one, we have Burn My Shadow by UNCLE. All caps. I dare you not to think this is a sweet beat. I dare you. I don't play drums, but once it starts going, I do the air drum thing. Like, I like I know what the hell's going on. Don't. Plus, you get epic, profound lyrics and these moments of clarity and silence to make the beat all the more awesome when it comes back. Uh, it's just an amazing song. 
Are there beats that I think are sweeter than this song's beats? Probably, but today or this month or near Christmas, whatever, it's this song right now. I think it's fantastic. It's hard to choose just 10 when there's, you know, a library of 20,000 songs in your head. If you think there are beats that are sweeter out there, please don't yell at me. Just share them, because I want to hear them, and I want to know what songs are cooler than these songs, because uh, I love music, and I'm sure you do too. That's all I got. Um, Merry Christmas, and thank you for watching.